Talk about a celebrity breeding ground. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot were on Drake and Josh. For this list, we're taking a look at prominent actors who, though you don't remember, appeared in one or more episodes of the Nickelodeon series Drake and Josh. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Allison Stoner. Many of the cameos on this list were made by stars when they were still just kids, and Allison Stoner's is no exception. The future Step Up cast member was just 11 years old when she appeared in the season two episode, Number One Fan. Stoner played the titular fan who becomes obsessed with Drake after he gives her one of his guitar picks. Your guitar pick? You're giving me this? <laughs> uh, yeah, for my number one fan. Yay. Stoner's character Wendy spends the episode telling people she's Drake's girlfriend and promoting his band all over the school without his consent. You know how much trouble your little flyers caused me? Everyone in my entire school made fun of me today because of you. They just don't understand our relationship. It's a hilarious performance on Stoner's part, begging the question, why didn't she ever pop up on the show again? Hey, I want you to keep this, okay? W-A. Number nine, Emma Roberts. Nickelodeon crossovers are the best. In the season two episode, Honor Council, Drake is accused of pulling a prank on Mrs. Hafer. I told you, Mrs. Hafer, I didn't do you this. You are suspended, Drake Parker. What? Suspended. A trial is held with Josh serving as Drake's defense counsel and Mindy Crenshaw serving as the prosecutor. Part of their defense relies on the jury believing that Josh is a light sleeper, something Mindy hilariously rebukes with a piece of video evidence. Hi, I'm Megan Parker, and this is my friend Addie. I'm her friend Addie. Welcome to another episode of Doing stuff to Josh while he sleeps. The evidence is a video from Megan's website called Doing Stuff to Josh While He Sleeps, and it features a cameo from Unfabulous's Addie Singer, who is of course played by Emma Roberts. The cameo is short and sweet, but nevertheless one that Nick fans surely recognized at the time. Number eight, Tori DeVito. Will you just buying me all this candy? Oh, uh, well, I... That is so sweet of you. Is he the cutest boyfriend or what? Chicago Med star Tori DeVito actually appeared in three episodes of Drake and Josh back in the day. However, while her first two appearances were bit parts, she made the leap to being one of Drake's lady friends in the season three episode Playing the Field. DeVito played Tori, a girl whom Drake breaks up with after he decides he doesn't want to be tied down to one girl. Look, I get it. You want to date other people. Well... It's cool. Seriously, no hard feelings. However, the tables are turned when Drake sees Tori kissing another guy and gets extremely jealous. He's a pretty good looking dude. Well, I guess, but it still doesn't bother me. How about that? Yeah, that bothers me. DeVito would go on to play Melissa Hastings on Pretty Little Liars for seven seasons. You have an eye for design. I absolutely love it. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, when mom said you were converting the barn to a loft, I couldn't see it, but it's beautiful. Number seven, Dylan Minnette. I'm a pirate. Arr! <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a cute little pirate. Arr, right back at you. This future Netflix star made his one and only appearance on Drake and Josh when he was just 10 years of age. Dylan Minnette pops up in the season three episode, The Demonator, which sees Drake, Josh, and Megan sneaking off to go ride the titular roller coaster on opening day. While in line, they find themselves standing beside Dylan Minnette, who is listed as Jeffrey in the credits. You melt! Melt! <laughs> Jeffrey proceeds to rip the tail off the park's mascot, who proceeds to attack Josh when he's caught holding the appendage. Minnette looks adorable in his pirate outfit, even if his character was being a bit of a brat. Why do we get the feeling that now we won't ever be able to look at Clay Jensen the same? Clay? How are you doing, sweetie? You've been on my mind. Hey, Courtney. I have. Number six, Nathan Kress. Okay, 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 everyone. I'd like to thank you all for joining me here on my 16th birthday. If you thought Dylan Minnette's cameo was brief, wait until you get a load of this one. Nathan Kress, who is best known for playing Freddie Benson on iCarly, appeared in a season four episode for what amounts to less than a few seconds. Why would you mess with Sam? 
because she put a dead fish in my locker. Smell this. No, gross. I don't want to smell your fishy backpack. The Blink and You'll Miss It cameo occurs near the end of the episode, just as the Galaxy Wars actors are preparing to recreate a scene from the fictional film. Kress can be seen standing behind a lightsaber-wielding red Skynaut, dressed in an orange t-shirt and khaki pants. You can add this uncredited role to Kress's long list of Nickelodeon work. The Battle of Panthetor is done! Back to the ship! <laughs> Number 5. Minka Kelly Can we get the extra-large popcorn? Can we? Looking back, it's crazy how many of Drake's girlfriends went on to have lengthy careers in the entertainment industry. Take Minka Kelly. She played Stacy in the season 2 episode Movie Job, a girl Drake cared about so much he forgot her name when introducing her to Josh. Hey, it's Drake and, um. <laughs> Stacy! 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 <laughs> Kelly only appeared in a couple of scenes, but her character's expensive taste prompts Drake to get a job at the movie theater in order to make some money. Minka Kelly would go on to star as Lila Garrity on Friday Night Lights, and you can catch her these days playing Don Granger, or Dove, on Titans. Can we talk? You're about four years too late, but sure. Number four, Vanessa Hudgens. Mrs. Hayford, the lunch ladies are fighting again. What is it about Sloppy Joe Day that makes those women so violent? Is it just us, or is Drake a total sleazeball in this scene? Not long before she was cast as Gabriella Montez in High School Musical, the Disney Channel franchise that would serve as a launching pad for her acting career, the now controversial Vanessa Hudgens landed a bit part in this season 3 episode. In it, Hudgens plays Becca, a girl who lies to Drake and Josh's teacher so that Drake can show up to class late. So what are the lunch ladies fighting about? <laughs> They're not fighting. Then why'd you tell Mrs. Hafer that they were fighting? Thank you, Becca. <laughs> Drake then kisses her as payment for the lie and tells her to let him know if she needs any more Drake. Ugh, isn't this supposed to be a show for kids? Number 3. Diana Agron Hey, do you know I can stick my whole fist in my mouth? You cannot. What? <laughs> another entry, another future star who Drake dated for an episode, only for her to be never seen again. This time, it's Diana Agron, who most people will recognize for her work on Glee. She played Quinn Fabre for 73 episodes and has since gone on to appear in films such as Ralph Breaks the Internet and Berlin I Love You. In the fall of 2006, she appeared in the Drake and Josh episode The Great Doheny. Agron played Lexi, a girl Drake takes on a date to the movie theater, but who ends up on the wrong end of a trick pulled by magician Henry Doheny. One, two, do three me! Lexi ends up in a glass display case covered in popcorn. And that's the last we see of her. How did I get in here? Number 2. Taryn Killam This actor and comedian has done a little bit of everything since entering the entertainment business in 1994. While perhaps best known for his tenure on Saturday Night Live, Taryn Killam has also appeared in films like Night School and TV shows like Community. I'm glad we're singing and dancing together instead. This has been a good time. And it's going to continue to be a good time. If we win regionals, then it's straight on to sectionals. And then a week later is semis, then semi-regionals, then regional semis, then national lower zone semis! Way back in season one of Drake and Josh, though, he played Trevor, a friend of the titular characters who sells them a broken down dune buggy. The role may be small, but Killam's affinity for playing off-the-wall characters is on full display. Do you think this made it onto his SNL audition tape? Before we unveil our most unlikely number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. After seeing your parents' lovely home here... And this elegant dinner you've prepared... Well... It's clear to us that you come from a fine family. I know this means a lot to you, but we're not into this whole campfire kid thing. Yeah, we just joined so we could hang out with our friends and eat free food. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number 1. Lucy Hale In the season 3 episode Theater Thug, Drake finds himself in need of a date, pronto. With a movie about to begin and no one to watch it with, Josh questions how Drake expects to find a movie date in under two minutes. Where are you going to find a date in two minutes? Mm. <laughs> hey, you want to see a movie with me? Sure. Lo and behold, Lucy Hale's Hazel is around to help him out. It's an extremely brief role, and Hale looks super young. As such, we doubt many people will remember this appearance by the future Arya Montgomery. I can see why she likes you so much. <laughs> oh, but for the record, if you hurt her, I will crush your scones. Hale would go on to appear in a number of high-profile roles, from Pretty Little Liars to Truth or Dare. Oh, come on, it's our final spring break. Before life tears us apart. However, if her career were to have never taken off, she would have always had this brief moment to look back on with pride. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.